In the court of Fonzine, the shot's clockwork workshop is preparing for a major commission, but the staff seem to have encountered difficulties. Help these talented craft people complete their masterpiece. Ooh. She just crowned. Good for Linny. Nice little furnishing. <gasps> Primo gems for rolling more Linny. Okay. Now we're talking. Alright. Uh, so let me just go ahead and... Good roll. Alright. Maybe. You received a special commission from the Shots Clockwork Workshop. This is a toy shop in the Court of Fontaine. Have they encountered some manner of trouble? I would think so, because uh, you're kind of pointing me towards resolving it. Excuse me, just have to invigorate myself. <sighs> Enervation. This is so annoying. Yes, very annoying. Doesn't this just mean that Lady Farina will sit at the judge's table? Exactly. Sit at the judge's table? What does that mean? Oh my, we have guests. Judging from your clothes, you must be outlanders, yes? In that case, it's quite expected that you might not understand... Oh, sorry. It's quite expected that you might not understand our local lingo. Allow me to put it this way. Who should sit at the judge's table? The judge says, of course. And who is our chief justice? Monsieur Nevelette, naturally. Oh my, well then, why is our dear Arzo Arcon sitting in the Monsieur Nevelette's chair? Come now, tell me, what would the poor people being judged think of that? If it were me, why, I would feel cheated. Our Arzo Arcon knows nothing about the being a judge. Hmm, well it does seem they would be getting what was advertised. Exactly. Exactly. Trials will not be as advertised, precisely as you say. Huh. So it does mean the pirate thought it did. Wait just a second. Are you sure it's not okay for you to make fun of your god like that? Of course, Archon loves such jokes. Why, if these words reached her ears, she would tie me to a stone and have me hurled into a deep lake, watching enthusiastically from the sidelines the entire time. But uh, the guest not grieve yet, for a good Archon is ever so flighty with his words that even a millstone could not sink him. And Archon would say, ah, it's a miracle. Such a romantic ending. While applauding most loudly. In fact, she might even shed a tear or two. Aye, and she may even bestow upon me a model of romantic Fontaine medal. Oh yes, most romantic. <laughs> nope. I voice cracked while doing Paimon voice. Paimon's not sure what to say here. In any case, let's get to business. Might I ask why you have come to our humble store? Speaking of which, Arbon, don't you think our two guests look like the famous adventurers the boss told us about previously? Ah, quite so. One with air, like burnished gold. And the other like shining silver. Oh, right. Might the two of you be this traveler and Miss Paimon? Um, you know us? The boss was asking around the Adventurers Guild about Adventurers active in Fontaine and ended up being told about the two of you. What is your pretty formidable team? Well, traveler, looks like we're getting more famous by the day. It's all thanks to you, Miss Paimon. <laughs> Haven't you been going into suffered song lately? Alrighty then, for that, Paimon should always share her fortune with you. Well then, 
What would your boss like from us? Well, unfortunately, he's not in the store right now, so allow us to tell you in his stead. Uh, just a few words, uh, not to worry. To be brief, our boss would like your help in collecting Zeta for his championship duelist plan. Championship duelist plan? It is a plan to use champion duelists as the main characters, the development centerpiece, and the focus of our advertising for a new line of clockwork toys. Ah, right. That's our business, by the way. Clockwork toys. Also, have the two of you heard the champion duelists? I have, don't worry. Continue. Our boss believes this to be the excellent culture institution of Fontaine. As such, toys of this kind may yet sell very well indeed. And if they do get popular outside the country, we can also win honor for our nation. Two birds with one stone. I say, <laughs> I can see Lady Fulina herself pinning medals to our chests. Okay, so that's the situation, huh? But if you're made so a champion duelist, what do you need adventures for? Well, you can't develop anything without Zeta, and the strength of the champion duelist is owned in all manner of perilous places. Getting Zeta is not that easy. But when we heard that the more impressive adventurers do similar things, we thought, why not get adventurers to help us instead? Oh, Pyron kind of gets it now. You can get adventurers to get the data you need for your line of toy champion doing this, is that it? That's false advertising. It's no different from Lady Farina sitting at the judge's table. Well now, it's not quite that serious. It's more like replacing a Romaritan flower with a mallow tree. Oh, you know, a wooden pillar with a stone one. <sighs> Doesn't all this mean more of the same thing? That's what you two were talking about from the start! You know, and you heard it all! Oh, uh, that. We were talking about the leopard's ogre again. The watchmaker next door. They're way worse than we are, trust me. They call themselves a watchmaker, but they make toys on this sky. Now, that is completely absurd, isn't it? Indeed, terribly so. A watchmaker that sells toys? Exactly. And is that not reprehensible? Come, tell me, what do you like most in this world? What Pylon likes most? Well, uh, it's your best buddy, the Traveler, of course. In that case, if there was a traveler puppet store, somewhere you traveled the power to see, only to find not sell traveler puppets at all, but instead suck nothing by a ton of Archon puppets, would you not be angered at the betrayal of your expectations? Would you not cry and scream? Would you not send the boss of that store flying with a single punch for denying your purchase of your dear companion? Mm. Sorry, I worked up there. Why? I'd be furious. I'd punch a star on a straight to a cell in the fortress of Meripede. Seriously, who would buy our bomb puppets anyway? Well, now you say so, it would be kind of annoying. What do we do, Traveler? It would be terrible if puppets of you were to go out of stock. They're selling you a bridge here, you know. Huh, and you always got my one there too. Oh, come now. We were just making analogies, and you know what they say? There's no such thing as a perfect analogy. And well, the things we describe do happen. After all, you will not find better conscience in the months in the conchman lands, with you? Precisely. And such things will only increase in frequency until a day comes when watchmakers stop making watches altogether. But... We shall not forgive them, oh no, unless they change their name to Leport Toy Makers. And there you both go again. You do really love saying now then, don't you? The more you talk, the further off topic we get, so let us have it now. What do you to do? Well, actually, um, we do have one request to make before that. Could you two go to Leport Toy next door and do a little investigation there? 
What's making is the main trade, but their latest toys have become so popular they're stealing our customers. We heard the store owner gained inspiration for these toys on Mondstadt and were curious about what they might be. For all you know, it might be some alchemy powered toys that gives us a scent four times fewer than Thetias, which they use to ensnare people. Well, I've heard that there's a alchemist in Mondstadt who can do that anyway. A quadruple speed of Sensetia? Wouldn't that be? Sucrose or Albedo, I think they mix the two together. As such, could you please help us check it out, dear guests? Our boss is quite concerned about this matter. And why won't you go yourselves? Oh, come now, dear guest. We have reputations to maintain as business people. We can just walk over there, Nini Willy. Really. Exactly. It is for the sake of our reputation. And it's one's reputation, not one's all. For my part, I must go to the boss of your arrival. So please, lend us your aid in this matter. To be honest, Traveler, I was pretty curious. What would Toys the Thing Inspiration Mondstadt look like? Mondstadt look like? Would they really have something to do with alchemy? Let's go take a look, shall we? Ah, thank you so much. In that case, we shall wait for news from you here. <gasps> Whoa! There's a lot of people here! Uh, hello? Uh, hello? You to do? My, my name is uh, Armand. Nice to meet you, Armand. <laughs> what push should I give you? French accent, of course, because I'm having too much fun with it. Oh, I know. Hello, dear customers. I am Karon, the owner of this shop. What can I do for you? Hey there, boss. We finally caught up with an awesome toy, so we'd like to know more about it. Ah, of course you can. Still, my elder brother sent you here to take out information. Didn't he? Oh. That's surprising. So I talked to this NPC before, and he said that his brother didn't take up the family business. So I thought that meant he like left Fontaine. He just moved next door and started a toy shop. While Caron stayed behind and kept up the clock making business, even though he wanted to be a poet. That's really sad. Huh? Your brother? Wait, actually, how do you know that we were here for? Oh, I just saw you walking out from the clockwork workshop, that's all. My brother owns that shop and I know him. What he'd do? This is right up his alley. Exposed before we can even get started. Ah, we should have prepped more before going over. How are we supposed to know that you're brothers? Ah, now this is just a matter of corporate competition, is it? It's brother against brother. Paimon, mind your language, please. Sorry, boss. Paimon's brain just gets stuck there for a minute. Do not worry. Even the best made toys have components that will get stuck at some point. It's the same with people. You need to take good care of them. Besides, I don't think you are wrong about how my brother sees our relationship. Regardless, I won't take up more of your precious time than needed. Let me talk about these toys instead. Um, are you sure that's okay? We're, we're supposed to be sitting together in Intel. <laughs> Such interesting thing! Such interesting things you say, dear customers. Our store's real bread and butter is clocks, which we make using techniques handed down from our generation to generation. Toys are just my personal hobby. They bring happiness to people. So if I let more people know about them, is that not the same as spreading happiness? Wow! That's such a nice way of thinking about things. Ha 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 ha! My brother would certainly say this line of thinking is too unadvantageous. But, that aside, why don't you have a look at the toy? I hope you like it. 
I heard you got inspiration from Monster. Indeed. I have liked the place since I was little, and when I went there recently, I was indeed a rewarding experience for me. I incorporate this story of an adventure I met there into the toy. But, don't set your expectations too high, alright? In the end, it is a simple clockwork device. Huh. An adventurer? So, it's not a part of alchemy then? An alchemical toy? That sounds interesting, but his adventure made quite the impression. If there's time, I'll tell you his story. I tried the toy now. I think quite like experiencing it for yourself. We'd love to, but there's no many fire plant on the other end. We should get there first, Traveler. You get there first, Traveler, and then come right back. I want to just try this adventure on right away. All right, then. Remember, you are always welcome here. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Hmm. Our man seems to be doing a lot better recently. Ah, our man is the apprentice or the assistant. Boss, our two guests have its hands. Ah. The two of you are quick indeed. As expected of people recommended by the Adventurers Guild. I am Liver, the owner of the shop. Welcome. Hey there, boss. So you and Garner are brothers. We didn't know about that, and it's all to do us right away. Seriously? A bear. You didn't tell them something this important. Seriously, Arbon? Didn't we agree that you'd tell them? If you're gonna cut anyone's salary, boss, Cut is. Hey, are you two brothers too? What? Don't call this guy my brother. <clears throat> so, what you mean to say is that he means a bust? He didn't find anything? Well, no. Karen's a really nice guy and he might even really knew about us. He even told us he could try a toy at any time. No, it's an adventurous toy. As I mentioned before, I love playing RPG games. And uh, this is my bread and butter, Genshin Impact. Partially because um, they have so many good stories where I can really flex my voice acting muscles. <clears throat> Those things are so corny. Didn't he say that he uncovered some adventurous story into it or something? That's right. How do you know? Did you investigate the matter or something? Ah. <sighs> I just know him all too well. He always puts something sentimental into his toys, without caring about the market situation. If you ask me, adventure toys are long out of fashion. But his shop is very popular, isn't it? That's just ordinary market fluctuation. Bleh. That's just ordinary market fluctuations. Once our champion duelist lineup takes the stage, we'll have him beat easy. Real champion duelists, they're the result of us out of fashion adventures play acting. Ah, what do the two of you know? It's what you call packaging. It is a standard practice on the market, and no one cares ex how exactly you do it. Ah, uh, so uh, extravagant advertising versus sentimental advertising. It's all about presentation. We're just going to get the data and put in some popular toy phototypes and claim that the toy from the growth of a champion duelist. And that'll do the trick just fine. Really? That's it? Diamond feel like there's definitely any problems this way. It's fine if the toy has some issues. It's all about the gimmick. What would you think if I told you that the Arbon and our bear are in fact ultra realistic, ultra high quality puppets based on the theme of the double act. What? They're puppets? Can puppets look so real? Of course they can. That's the power of a double act. Tricks can seem very real indeed. See that? That's the power of packaging. Even a gimmick can, when presented the right way, generate interest. Fair, but false advertising is false advertising. 
So just a trick! You cheater! You gotta be more different from your brother! Well, that's his problem for not staying in the clockwork game. If he wants to stick his nose into his toy making business, it is my duty as his older brother to show him what's what. Quite the jab hand, aren't you? None more conniving than a merchant, I see. Thanks for the compliments. In that case, eyes up, you two. And the collection will be run by Arbon and Abe. Huh. Well, we got to blind eye your buddy conflict. Just don't skimp on our payments. Ooh. <gasps> A rhythm game? We got rhythm game, we got fighting. And I think that's gonna be like some kind of um, world exploration thing. Uh oh, and Toy War situation map. Ah, okay. Story quest. Basically. Armand of Le Poth Holger is in charge of taking care of the toys. Go see, you can try those Christmas out. Our bond is responsible for data collection. Go see what you need to do. Oh, it's underwater. I'll bear responsible for data collection. Go see what you need to do. Well, I'm gonna do the tabletop adventure first. Hey, look! Thumbs up for Benny. Uh, let's do this. Hello! Welcome to the Let's Hold's Clockwork Workshop. Are you here to make a purchase? We have all sorts of interesting toys here. Clockwork goods? Indeed. We specialize in machines that function via those principles. Toy birds, puppets, we have it all. Oh, okay. I've already seen this dialogue. Oh, that, that makes more sense now about him lying about the... The penguins. <laughs> there are no penguins in Fontaine. <laughs> Alright. What do I gotta do to um able to play? Talk to Armand here? Ah, there we go. Uh, 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 hello, you too. My name is uh, uh, Armand. You seem kind of nervous. Sorry. I, I guess I see this when there are t too many p p people around. No worries. You don't have to rush. Where's your other toy? Oh, sure. So, so. I have prepared a, a hand... A, and a handbook for you. Aw, that's so nice of you, Armand. Well, read carefully for sure. It's all right. If you don't read it... It's very simple and f fun. D do you want to try? Thanks. I'll give it a go. I, I o hope you enjoy yourselves. Alright. What does manual say? During the challenge, control toy adventure. Follow the music beats and attack at the right moment in the toys lining both sides of the track. Before the challenge starts, adjust your attack delay to optimize your toy's reaction position. With suitable attack delay parameters, you'll be, to lift, you'll be able to hit toys to the rhythm more easily and score higher in the challenge. On certain devices, you can enter the settings interface to adjust the attack button position before starting this challenge. Let's begin. Uh, I hope you enjoy yourselves. Oh, I will. I'm probably gonna try to um, go for perfect, um, like off stream. That tends to happen with me with the um, rhythm games. Okay, it's fine. Just change the calibration, but seems to be uh, pretty responsive. All right, here we go. Oh, it is Bennett! Oh, that's cute. Oh, 
You can see Bennett's hairstyle and his thumbs up. Ah! Missed. Yeah, I'm definitely perfecting this off stream. I'm gonna get obsessed if I just keep playing, you know. Since my Sunday stream is cancelled, this is probably what I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be doing all night. <laughs> or I should say all morning. Because um, I would have to sleep. Hey! Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm like 90% sure this is based on Bennett. Intensive drumming. Ooh. They're cryo times now. When faced with toy blue times during the challenge, hold the corresponding arrow keys in advance to charge up before releasing the button to initiate charge attacks. Only charge attacks can damage toy blue times. I see. Oh, I'm supposed to by the exclamation marks. It's not enough to just like um, charge up. So otherwise, I would do it way in advance. Ah, no! Dang. Let go. Oh, there doesn't, there doesn't seem to be a position thing about this. Oh, probably because of the charging thing. So they made it um, a bit more forgiving. Well, that's good for perfectionists like me. When I end up, um, well, perfecting this. Hey, see? Two mistakes and I still got 95%. Very forgiving mini game. Alright, let's do the last one. Then after this, we're gonna go ahead and do the, um, what do you call this? The fighting one. When faced with toy double green slimes during the challenge, tap the left and right arrow keys simultaneously to initiate a wide range attack. Only wide range attacks can damage toy double green slimes. I mean,. That doesn't seem like too big of an issue. I think I could just spam the buttons and still hit like everything. Yeah, this is a much easier rhythm game than the others. I definitely much prefer this over the Sumeru one, that's for sure. But there's a certain charm to the um, Leeway and Mondstadt rhythm game versions with the harps and the uh, zitter. Oh, got perfect. That was easy. Alright, let's go ahead and claim our Primo Gem, shall we? May fortune be with you. I could totally hear Bennett saying that. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, 